It's a pleasure to see you all and uh, to have spoken to so many of you today. And we hope that you've enjoyed the day so far. So we come now to the final part of our Synergy event, the 2017 Tax Technologist Awards, the moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> but firstly, please allow me to introduce Paul Brindle, the Managing Director of EMEA and ANZ Businesses, and the Global Head of Portfolio Management for Tax and Accounting. Thank you, Sarah, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's really great to be here to help finish off Synergy on a high and to allow us to continue on the celebrations uh, out, out in the foyer later on with more drinks and, and canopies. This is the first time that Thomson Reuters has sought to recognise excellence in tax technology in the UK and in Europe. We've been doing this for some time in other parts of the world and we've been blown away by the success and growth we've had with those awards over a number of years now. So we feel it's about time we brought the awards to, to the UK. I'm sure most of you would agree that excellence in tax and tax technology isn't widely recognised. Um, if anything, the tax industry gets a hard time um, in the media and sometimes justifiably and I think we all get tarnished by the front page news that global tax um, of, often gets. So, so I'm, I'm pleased that we're celebrating the great work that people in this room are doing as part of their everyday working lives. I was a tax practitioner for 15 years before I made a conscious to shift, shift to, from tax to, uh, to tax technology. And it's been interesting over the years to see the the line between tax and, and technology has really blurred um, over those years. Everyone in this room that works in tax should really see themselves as a taxologist. And we at Thomson Reuters feel that we have a role to help you become tax technologists as part of your roles as tax specialists. In places like the US, where we've had these awards for a number of years now, the winners have been including their, their uh, prizes, their awards, uh, for recognition in their CVs and on their LinkedIn profiles. Um, the demand for taxologists, tax technologists, is really growing and people see that as a core competency to grow their careers in the, in the tax space. One of the firms in this room has a program to train up 10,000 tax technologists globally, and that's just one of the large firms. There's another firm in this room who have plans to train up 5,000 people to, to have tax technology and related skills in Europe um, alone. So I would encourage all of you who didn't nominate for today's awards to nominate next year, but more importantly, to train yourselves up to be taxologists. Now, I'm feeling somewhat um, anxious about these awards. They are the first awards that we've done in the UK. Uh, late last night, I flew in from my home base in Switzerland and I emailed Sarah and asked her, were we ready for the awards? And she emailed me back and I'm gonna read to you the email that she wrote me. <laughs> she said, dear Paul, yes, we are ready for the awards. I looked to the Academy Awards and in particular, the Best Picture Award for inspiration. I've, I've appointed a large accounting firm to audit the results <laughs> and to keep the envelopes secure and in the right order. I've also set up the auditors with Twitter accounts as they can apparently multitask like a taxologist using the full one source suite of products. <laughs> And at a personal level, I've taken inspiration from Theresa May's Conservative Party conference speech. <laughs> I do have a cough, which I'll, I'm sure will be fine on the day. You were coughing out there earlier, weren't you? Uh, we've used the same props department, and I've <laughs> saved the front row seat to our biggest one source user, comedian Simon Brodkin. Best wishes, Sarah. So with that, I wish Sarah the best of luck in uh, <laughs> taking us through her first awards. And I do have a P45 ready to go <laughs> if needed. Uh, but most importantly, I wish the nominees and the finalists the best of luck. Back to Sarah. Thank you, Paul. <laughs>
<laughs> so, <clears throat> do, does anyone have any strepsils? <laughs> Uh, so this is the first year that we have presented the Technologist Awards in EMEA. We are delighted with how many of you have sent in entries, and we have had some truly innovative and interesting and forward-looking scenarios. And we've been incredibly impressed by how many of you are using technology to not only improve, but to revolutionize your processes and your team's roles. We will be presenting three awards today, Tax Technologist, Accounting Technologist, and New Project of the Year. The first award is for Tax, Te Tax Technologist of the Year 2017. And the finalists are Mark McRae from Sky, Ross Hay from Takeda, Natalie Dowling from TD Direct Investing. <laughs> Congratulations to our finalists. The standard of entries for the Tax Technologist Award was very high indeed, and this was an incredibly tough decision. The winning entry took the acquisition of new international entities as an opportunity to reassess their approach in order to create standardized global processes for their finance, tax, and procurement teams. They looked for a partner to bring consistent approach to address the challenges from a taxation perspective. The winner uses one source corporate tax, one source provision, and one source indirect tax. And some of the benefits that they mentioned of using technology solutions that work together were the single repository of transactional data held in one source helped us to make business decisions, generated time savings at key reporting dates, created efficiencies in the tax team, and allowed us to perform the required high-level overview of the output, as opposed to spending time ensuring the data is consistent. Paul, if you would be so kind as to announce the winning entry, the correct envelope. And the winner is La La Land. <laughs> Where's that P45? Um, the winner of the One Source Tax Technologist of the Year is Mark McRae from Sky. Do I need to make a speech? Surely not. You're welcome to. No. Would you like to say something? <laughs> I'm it's no up to you, <laughs> completely up to you. I'm no Lord Digby Jones, but I'll... Uh, <laughs> OK. <No. laughs> sure. Sure. So many congratulations to Mark and Sky. Our second award is for accounting technologist. Again, some very tough decisions from a great set of entries. The finalists for accounting technologist of the year 2017 are Deborah Costello from Costain, Donald, Donald O'Dwyer from Kaspersky, and Georgia Richardson from Omnicom. The winner of Accounting Technologist was able to demonstrate a noticeable time saving with the integration of the accounts reduction and corporate tax packages. This has allowed them to continue to finalize the financial statements position while starting to analyze the, tax, the data for the tax return. We can now update changes in one source accounts production through to the one source corporate tax software. And as HMRC will want to understand the accounting behind the tax returns more and more, having this link will help us collect the required information more effectively and see if there is further automation we can drive from this. Paul? And the winner of the One Source Accounting Technologist of the Year is Donald O'Dwyer from Kaspersky. <laughs> Okay, now over here. We'll take one here as well. 
Our final award for new project of the year 2017. I think this category really demonstrated to us the pace of change within tax and finance teams right now and the extent to which they are prepared to radically change and streamline processes. So our finalists for new project of the year award 2017, Abcam, Semex and Veritas. Congratulations to our finalists. The winner of this category has switched from traditional spreadsheets and labor-intensive methods to the end-to-end -end one source transfer pricing suite. In their words, you either need manpower or technology. We opted for technology. The idea is we save on external consultants, compliance costs, and cut the overall time necessary to finalize repetitive processes. Our vision is to automate transfer pricing processes to the maximum possible extent. And the winner of the One Source New Project of the Year is Veritas, Michael Chopinski. <laughs> So that concludes our awards ceremony. Thank you to Paul. A huge congratulations to all of our winners and our finalists, and a sincere thank you to you all who entered into the awards. We look forward to hearing more of your successes next year, and it leaves me now only to say a final very big thank you to all of you for attending. It's been a pleasure to see so many of you, and we hope to keep you here a little bit longer for some drinks next door. Thank you. Thank you.